Hey guys, what's up? It's Jess. Welcome back to my kitchen here at Roots and Refuge Farm. Today, I want to show you guys how I make elderberry syrup and encourage you if you're not already making this and using this in your household that it's time to start. I've actually been making elderberry syrup for a good while now, probably close to 10 years. Uh, not to be like a total hipster about it, but I've definitely been making elderberry syrup since before it was cool. Uh, back then, if you didn't make it yourself, you didn't have it. Now you can go to like big box stores. There are lots of elderberry products. It's definitely taking an upswing. People are really becoming more knowledgeable about how beneficial el elderberry is. And I think that's great. It's great that it's becoming more accessible. However, you can save a lot of money making this on your own at home. So why would you want to? Um, elderberries are packed with antioxidants and they're very, very beneficial to your immune system. This is food medicine. Herbs and food are so important in the health of our body. And so when it comes to any sort of like holistic remedy, uh, you have to approach it with a very reasonable mindset. For instance, you can't eat like garbage, not sleep, not take care of yourself, and expect to take elderberry syrup once one afternoon when you first start getting the flu and not get sick. Um, this is something that you do as a lifestyle. Uh, you Overall, you stay hydrated, you rest well, you fuel your body well, and then you get to use food medicine and herbal medicine and partnered with an overall healthy lifestyle. It really makes a big difference in keeping your body well. That said, if you know that overall your lifestyle is not where you want it to be, start making these small steps in the right direction and don't be like, oh, I'm not gonna bother with that because I ate fast food. Uh, do this too. It's gonna, it's still gonna help, but it's not a magic pill. This is something that I think that everybody can benefit from. It's something that we heavily rely on, especially this time of year. So you can buy a pound of elderberries that come in a bag like this. Um, I get them on Amazon between 20 $25 depending on which supplier you buy them from. I do get the organic ones and I want to say this bag is like $23. I'll put a link down below to this and you can purchase through our affiliate links and help our channel. What I do anytime that I get any sort of like herbal medicine or herbs, anything like this in, um, they always come in these bags and I always open them up and then put them in a mason jar with a lid so that they're sealed and they stay fresh longer. This bag, this one pound bag that was $23, it had five cups of elderberry in it. And the recipe that we're gonna use today calls for two thirds of a cup. Basically the breakdown is you're gonna get about five uh, batches out of this bag. And also the recipe calls for one cup of honey. And I like to use local raw honey because that has a lot of benefits in it as well. This jar has about five cups in it as well. And this was, I think, $13. Basically, for the two main ingredients, which is elderberries and honey, I'm looking at about $8 for a batch. And I add a few other things um, in that, which is gonna bump the price up a little bit, but they're things that I always keep in my house. And each batch makes roughly three cups of elderberry syrup. So you're talking about a lot of savings. So $8 for three cups of syrup, versus if you go to the store and buy a pre-made bottle, you're looking at like $10 for something like maybe eight to 10 ounces. So it's definitely savings and you've got the stuff to make about five batches whenever you buy all this. If you have a big family, if you're really gonna be going through this stuff, if you wanna start taking it daily, kind of as a preventative to kind of just give your immune system a boost, it's definitely more prudent to make this at home yourself. So the other things that I'm gonna put in my elderberry syrup, other than the honey and the elderberries, these are the main ingredients, is I always throw a few cinnamon sticks in, um, those I have at the house. Some ground cloves, uh, you could use whole cloves if you have that, you're just gonna strain them out before you crush everything down. But I go ahead and, and use ground cloves. Ginger, uh, shred it down and cook it in there. You could use powdered ginger if you wanted to, I think using fresh probably has some better benefits. And then another thing that I like to throw in, uh, this is something that I always have because this is just what I keep in my herbal medicine cabinet is rose hips because they're really, really high in vitamin C. I'll link these below too, but don't feel like you have to have all of this to make it worth it. The elderberries and the honey are the, the primary thing. The wonderful thing about food medicine is that 
It's not an exact science. I'm giving you a recipe. It's a roundabout. I actually very rarely use measuring cups for this. I, I, I eyeball everything and uh, it works for us. But that's the great thing about food medicine. Now, do keep in mind that if you have a baby that is under the age of one, you're gonna wanna use maple syrup instead of honey. Um, and you might just taste it and see. I don't know if it would be an exact measurement. Uh, we use a cup of honey. I don't know if you'd wanna use a whole cup of maple syrup, but babies under one can't have honey. So definitely change that out if you have a baby in the family and you wanna be able to give this product to the baby as well. So the only thing that really requires much prep is shredding this ginger, which I've already peeled it, as you can see. And I'm looking for about two tablespoons of this. And you can shred it finer um, if you want to, but it really doesn't matter. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and put the rest of this knob in here because I've already got it peeled. I don't wanna waste it. All right, so I've got all my stuff here and I do apologize for the light. It kinda got dark on me. <laughs> Not used to the time change yet. I've got a stainless steel pan. Um, this is, that's for what I'm gonna show you next. So I've got three and a half cups of water. I've got my rose hips, about half a cup of rose hips. I've got the three quarter cups of elderberry, a few tablespoons of ginger, three cinnamon sticks, and I've got my ground cloves. And I'm just gonna put all of this stuff in this pan. shake and I'm going to turn this on to mm, like medium high and I'm going to bring this to a boil it's not going to take very long and as soon as it comes to a boil I'm going to turn it down to low cover it and I'm going to cook it for about 45 minutes just on a low simmer so I'm actually making two batches I've got this one going on the stove but I've already done this once today uh, that's going to cook down and once it's done you're going to end up with those little hard berries I've gotten really soft after being cooked down for about 45 minutes and what you do at that point is I usually take a big spoon and I just mash it really good and you're going to press it through like a fine mess, mesh sieve and just press as much juice as you can. I actually have a masticating juicer and I'll usually take the cinnamon sticks out and once that stuff is cooled down, I will actually run it through my juicer and let that press it all out. You don't have to have that, but if you do have one, you can do that. And what I end up with is about two cups of this juice and that smells really good uh fruity and kind of spicy and now i'm just going to put a cup of honey directly into this and and i'm just going to mix this honey in really well now i do usually go ahead and make a couple batches at a time um and i usually just double the recipe today i split it up so that i would be able to show you guys the process all at the same time and I use this little glass jar here. Um, I bought these actually for our kombucha. These are uh, these swing top jars, but I like to put my elderberry syrup in them and I just use a little funnel and pour it in. So making two batches of this um, is gonna fill almost three of these jars. So it really is that simple. Uh, now, everybody always asks, well, what's the dosage? How long does it last? I've never had it go bad. Uh, with our family, we go through it pretty quickly. If you are concerned about not getting through it fast enough, cut the recipe in half. Another thing that you can do when you're going in and you're purchasing, because obviously you've got to buy the bag of elderberries on the front end, which is 20 something dollars in the big jar of honey. Um, find a, a friend that, that's local to you or a few friends and split the cost. If you only feel like you need like one batch for for the season, then split the cost of all of this stuff and you really can bring your cost down. Uh, as far as dosage goes, this is not an exact science. It is food medicine and I don't want that to be frustrating to you. I want that to be empowering. Um, what we do is I will 
take a spoonful of this every morning, no matter what, no matter how I'm feeling. Throughout this time of year, whenever germs are rampant, uh, everybody gets a spoonful of elderberry syrup every day. Uh, if I start to feel a scratchy in my throat or kind of feel feverish or just not very good, I start taking it several times a day. I'm just taking a spoonful, you know, every couple hours, every time I open the fridge, every time I think about it, I'll take a spoonful of elderberry. You're not gonna overdo it. Um, it's not the kind of thing that you can overdose on. It is, it's full of honey. So, I mean, keep in mind how much sugar you're consuming if you're concerned about that. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. It really is super simple. I will link the stuff down below. Uh, I do encourage you to try to find local honey if you can. But this is such a simple thing. Uh, definitely, a big benefit and if you are trying to get more into natural remedies this is a really really great place to start so i hope this helps you guys thank you so much for hanging out with me today i bless you until next time